Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Maplog here. This lesson is multiplying rational numbers. Okay, so here's our common course strand for our most groovy teachers. And our question here is, um, how do we multiply rational numbers? Remember, rational numbers are fractions or decimals or even integers. The decimals have to be terminating, which means they stop, or repeating decimals like 0.272727 and so on. So anyway, so um, this is um, uh, the rules for multiplying uh, numbers that have different signs. So whether you have a, a positive times a negative, the answer is going to be negative. If you have a negative times a positive, the answer is negative. So, so if they have different signs, then the product is always negative. And remember, you guys, multiplication is just repeated addition. So for example, 3 times negative 1 fourth is the same as uh, negative 1 fourth added together three times, okay? So negative, negative one-fourth plus negative one-fourth plus negative one-fourth, let's add them. Negative one-fourth plus this is negative two-fourths plus this is negative three-fourths. So we get negative three-fourths when we do that. So multiplication is just a form of addition. So Gina hiked down a canyon and stopped each time she descended one half of a mile to rest. So she hiked on a total of four sections, okay? So every half a mile she hiked, uh, um, she stopped. So she stopped four times. So what's her overall change in elevation, okay? So uh, let's see, down a canyon, okay? So she's descending a half of a mile. So we're going to use negative numbers to represent the descending part. And we're just looking for four times negative one half. So all we're going to do is start at zero and move one half units to the left four times, okay? So here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. That takes us to negative two, okay? So what does that mean, you guys? That means the overall change in elevation was uh, two miles down or negative two miles or uh, so, so in the canyon. So, so let's use the rules for multiplication for multiplying rational numbers, okay? So um, so four times negative a half, a positive times a negative is a negative. And so all we did is just multiply. When we multiply in fractions, you guys, this is like four over one. Pretend like there's an imaginary one right underneath here. Top times top is four. Bottom times bottom is two. So negative four over two is the same as negative four divided by two, which is negative two, okay? All right. So uh, use the number line to find two uh, times negative 3.5. Or how about this? Two groups of negative 3.5. So if we start at zero and go 3.5 units to the left two times, that would take us to where we're going. Okay, now notice each one is going by, so here's one unit, that's two tick marks. So let's do 3.5. So here's one, two, 3.5, and then let's go, every two is uh, it's one. So every two tick marks, let's do it again. So here's one, two, 3.5. So do it twice. So two times 3.5 takes us to negative seven. All right. So um, uh, the rules for uh, multiplying um, numbers that have the same sign is given here. It's always positive. So a positive number times a positive number is positive. A negative times a negative is also positive. Okay, so if they have the same signs, the product is positive. If they have different signs, the product is negative. So we can also use a number line to find the product of rational numbers that have the same sign. So this book loves number lines, which is cool. It's a nice visual way to show you this. So um, uh, anyway, so multiply negative 2 times uh, negative 3.5. So to show this on a number line, let's first uh, multiply 2 times negative 3.5. Well, we did that earlier. So we started at 0, moved 3.5 units to the left. It took us to negative 7. That's 2 times negative 3.5, okay? So again, that is 2 times negative 3.5, all right? So that's what this says right here. The result is negative 7. That shows two groups of negative 3.5 equals 7. So negative two groups of negative 3.5 must equal the opposite of 7. So on that number line, if we just go all the way over to the other side of 0, that's what it is. It's going to be 7 right there, OK? So negative 2 times negative 3.5 is negative 7. So if we did a negative times negative, that's always a positive. So when it says check using the rules for multiplication, 
that's how we check that guy, something like that, okay? But if they give you number lines, then just you pacify your teachers and, just, and plot them out on a number line. It just helps you guys see, visually see, that uh, multiplication is just a form of addition. All right, find negative 3 times negative 1.25. I'm going to first find 3 times um, uh, one point, negative 1.25 by moving uh, 1.25 to the left three times. All right, let's look at these guys over here. So we'll start here. All right, every two tick marks is one. So every one tick mark is a half. So every half of a tick mark is 0.25. Okay, so negative 1.25 is going to be 2 plus a half of a tick mark right there. Okay, so right there, I think. Okay, and then let's do that again. So that's one time. So negative um, uh, 1.25 is going to go uh, we're going to go to the left again. Let me just do that right there. Okay, so there it is right there. Three times. Okay, now what's that take us to? That looks like it takes us to, here's negative three and a half right here. So this is going to be negative 3.75 right there. Okay, so um, that's what uh, three times negative 1.25 is. So, so negative three times negative 1.25 is going to be over here at positive 3.75. Okay. So that's what that says right there. So it's positive 3.75. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. So if you multiply three or more rational numbers, you can use a pattern to find the sign of the product. So here's an example. We're going to multiply negative two-thirds times negative one-half times negative three-fifths. So first find the product of the first two factors. So I'm first going to multiply these two guys together right here okay so here we go all right now i know this a negative times a negative is a positive so this little piece right here is going to be positive and then look you can cross cancel do you remember cross canceling you guys this two goes into two once and this two goes into two once so i'm going to change both of these twos to one i'd rather multiply with smaller numbers so as long as they're on top and on bottom and you're multiplying you guys you can cross cancel okay now we just multiply across the top you guys so i have this 1 times 1 is 1. This 3 times 1 is 3, so it's 1 third. Remember, it's positive right there. Okay, now that's the product of the first two. So now we take that answer and we multiply it by the last one right here. Okay, so here we have um, uh, the positive 1 third. 1 third came from these two guys being multiplied together, positive 1 third. So one-third times the last uh, factor right here, a positive times a negative, is a negative. And then these threes cancel and make ones, you guys. Three goes into three once, three goes into that three once. Okay, and then we're left with, again, remember it's negative, so it's going to be negative equals some negative fraction, one times one over one times five. So negative one-fifth right there. Okay, so the product of all of those three fractions right there is negative one-fifth. All right, so let's see if we can find a rule for this. So we know that the product of two negative numbers is positive, and we just found out the product of three negative numbers is negative, so we'll write a rule for finding the sign of the product of n negative numbers. Well, do you see a pattern? If n is even, it's positive. If n is odd, how many negatives do we have? Then it's negative, okay? So if you see three negatives, the answer is negative. If we see five negatives, and you're multiplying them, the answer is negative. If we see six negatives, the answer is positive. Okay, so anyway, so if you have an even amount of negatives and you're multiplying, positive. If you have an odd amount of negatives and you're multiplying, the answer is negative. Okay, let's do that with these guys right here. All right, so uh, so let's go check the signs right here. Okay, so so this one has a negative, a negative, a negative, three negatives. So this one's going to be negative. I'm just going to write negative over here. This one has two negatives. That's even. So this one's positive. This one has just one negative. That's odd. So this one's negative. So it's going to go. It's going to go negative, positive, negative. And I'm just putting that just to remember. Okay. Now let's just start cross canceling, you guys. Okay. If we can cancel, can you see these fours cancel right here? I think I made them blues. Now remember, it's negative. So just don't forget the negatives right here. So I'm going to cancel out those fours and make them ones. And then I can cross cancel all the way from this three and this three. So I'm going to cancel those out and make those ones. And then we're left with, don't forget it's negative. One times one is one times two is two. So 2 on top, 1 times 7 is 7, times 1 is 7. So 2 7s, don't forget, negative 2 7s, okay? All right, this next one's positive. So here, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. 
uh, what am I going to cancel? I'm going to cancel uh, this three and this three. I think I'm going to do that first. Did I do that first? I did. Okay. And then, now you can cancel this two with this four, making this two one and this four two, but I think it's easier to cancel these fours right here and make those ones also. Okay, so, so we're done canceling. I can't cancel anymore. Now remember, this one's positive. Two times one times one is two. 1 times 1 times 5 is 5, 2 fists, positive 2 fists, okay? All right, now, uh, let's see. There's things, all kinds of things to cancel. I think I first canceled 3 goes into 3 once. It goes into 9 3 times. Did I do that? Yes, I did. Okay, now, this blue 3 right here can cancel out with this 6. You can cancel the canceled numbers if it'll keep canceling. So I'm going to go ahead and do 3 goes into 6 twice. So this 3 is going to change to 1. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice. So just make the numbers smaller, okay? Because we want the reduced answers. Okay, now let's do some more reducing, okay? I'm going to change this to uh, 2 goes into 2 once, it goes into 10 5 times. So they're going to change to a 1 and a 5. And then, and then again, this canceled 5 is going to cancel out that 5. These guys become 1s right there, okay? Now remember, the answer is negative because there's only one negative. So on top, 1 times 1 times 1. Bottom, 1 times 1 times 2, so negative 1 half, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that helps and makes sense. Take care.